Find out the reason for your laptop or PC not showing your iPhone's personal hotspot name in the Wi-Fi network's name. Follow my quick solutions on your iPhone personal hotspot problems that fixed with any iPhone models. First solution is enable disable hotspot. iPhone like Android, use Wi-Fi connection or direct USB connection. Using both the types of connection we can connect any Wi-Fi device that might be your other cell phone or Wi-Fi enable, desktop or laptop or Mac. If desktop has no Wi-Fi, then we can use our iPhone's personal hotspot with USB connection. That you choose and select during pop-up appears on the screen when you enable personal hotspot from the settings. First turn off Wi-Fi from the settings app, not from the control center, otherwise pop-up will not show. Go to the settings app on iPhone Wi-Fi disable Wi-Fi. Not disable, enable personal hotspot from the iPhone settings app. Enable cellular data first, go to the settings app cellular cellular data or mobile data enable toggle. Go to the settings app on iPhone personal hotspot disable and re-enable personal hotspot from the toggle. At the same time, your iPhone will show one pop-up with two options, using turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and USB only. For the Wi-Fi enabled laptop or Mac, you can go with turn on Wi-Fi. Else use Bluetooth or USB only. Now, on your laptop or desktop, turn off and turn on Wi-Fi so we can get the updated Wi-Fi network's name in the list. Your iPhone's personal hotspot is also there. Enter valid personal hotspot password if you set on your iPhone for the security reason. That's it. Enjoy the guide. Turn on airplane mode. Airplane mode refreshes all the network connection that might be your Wi-Fi, cellular network, personal hotspot, and Bluetooth. To do that, go to the settings app on iPhone toggle the airplane mode enable and disable. Rename personal hotspot name. You didn't identify your hotspot network name on another device. Because of same Wi-Fi name, you can update it by change your iPhone name under the settings general about and type your iPhone name. Outdated carrier setting you can update if not. To check this go to the settings app on iPhone, next tap on general and then about. Scroll to option carrier and tap on it to validate. Reset network settings. Reset network settings remove all old connections and passwords as well. To do that, go to the settings app on your iPhone, next tap on general next to general tap on reset and reset network settings. Enter the security passcode and wait for reboot your iPhone. Now reconnect your Wi-Fi or personal hotspot. Restart or hard reboot your iPhone. Reboot or hard reboot process is little confusing, depends on your model name you can do that. Check the how to reboot your iPhone 6s and earlier, press and hold home button and sleep, wake button until you see Apple logo on screen. How to reboot your iPhone 7 7 Plus, press and hold volume button and sleep, wake button until you see Apple logo on screen. How to reboot your iPhone X or later that has no home button, quickly press and release volume up and down button one by one, now only press and hold side button until you see Apple logo on screen. Install the latest version of iOS. Every time new software update comes with new bug fix and improvement in connectivity. Might be personal hotspot is as part of next update. Go to the settings app on iPhone general software update. Using iTunes, connect your iPhone to iTunes. Unlock iPhone screen and allow permission to access your iPhone on Mac or PC. Now, your iPhone icon will show up in iTunes. Tap on it and go to summary. Next, to the summary page, you will see the update iPhone option. Tap on it. You will complete the process after long wait if a software update is big. If you enjoyed this video like it and hit that subscribe button and tap on bell icon to get the latest video notifications alert also be sure to follow on social media and we'll see in the next video.